Hello everyone, welcome to Anu's classroom. In this video, we will be talking about research design. So, in the last video where we were talking about the steps of research, we spoke about how important research, uh, research design is. So, in this video, we will dig a little bit more into how, what research design is and how we go about creating one for our project. So, a few things that we will cover include the functions and goal of research design. What are the characteristics of a good design? What are the different types of research designs available? What is exploratory research design? What is descriptive research design? What is experimental research research design? And what are the different types of experimental designs as, as well? So with this video, I hope that you guys, uh, by now definitely, you guys, I hope, would have prepared a synopsis. And you will be able to much better classify on what category of research design would be suitable for your this, uh, research question. And accordingly, how you can go about uh, formulating your uh, design for your particular project as well. Okay. So, what is a research design actually? Uh, the research define is something which refers to what you can say a roadmap of for the researcher on how they will conduct this research. So, they will include things like uh, what you, or you can like what do you say everything everything starting from data collection to finally creating your report design how you will do it how you will uh, what in what tone will you write all these things will be de uh, decided by your research design and this research design is what the researcher that is us we will be following during the research journey in order to find answers to their research questions as well as validate the uh, validate accurately economically and objectively the research findings as well so, in the words of Kinner and Taylor, research design is the basic plan which guides the data collection and analysis phase of the research project. It is the framework which specifies the type of information that has to be collected, the source of data and the data collection procedure as well. So, what are the functions and goals of a said research design? So, a research design is actually needed because it facilitates the smooth sailing, you can say, of the various research operations, like starting from data collection, thereby making our research as efficient as possible and yielding the maximal information with minimal expenditure of effort, time and money. Okay. So, in brief, we can say that a research design will at least contain a clear statement of our research problem. What are the procedures and techniques to be used for gathering information for this particular research? What is the population to be studied and the methods to be used in processing and analyzing the data? So the population as in it also deals with how we can set our sample space. That is how much whether we will be uh, dealing with the entire population or whether we will be picking up a few samples from the population and doing our research. And if you are trying to do with a the sample, then how many samples of data should we collect? All these things will be defined in your research design if you guys had not started doing the research design you would not be able to create the synopsis so if you guys have created the synopsis then let me tell you one thing knowingly or unknowingly you have gone through the research design process once you have the synopsis means you have thought about the a to z of how you are going to do the research the only thing that is remaining for you is actually doing that particular research and getting the data from there so what are the characteristics of a good design it should specify the sources and types of information that is relevant to the research problem. It should specify which approach will be used for gathering and analyzing data. It should also make uh, consider the time and cost budgets that is available to us in order to do this particular research. So, there are different types of research design like we mentioned in the contents of this video. There are exploratory research studies, there is descriptive or diagnostic research studies as well as experimental research design. So, these are the three broad or three main types of research designs. So, what are these research designs? Let us look at it in the in short. Okay. So, what is the exploratory research design? It is also called as formulative research studies. The main purpose of such study is that we are going to formulate a problem for a more precise investigation or developing the working hypothesis from an operational point of view. So, the major emphasis in such studies is on the discovery of ideas and insights. So, this kind of uh, research design exploration is suitable in cases where researchers have no clear idea about the upcoming problems they may have to meet during the study. The study is commonly quite unstructured. It is open-ended. There is no definite uh, what you can say end point for this uh, kind of study like 
ex uh, examples could be like decide uh, find out what all factors influence the purchase of lic policies in uh, people under 25 we do not know what all factors might be influencing them so we are so this will be an exploratory research where we are trying to find out what are the factors that could have a uh, what you can say have an impact on uh, they, uh, how people under 25 years of age will choose whether or not they will take an LIC policy. So this is also, so this is an example of an exploratory research question. So that is why I told it is a unstructured, open-ended, but at the same time, high time consuming and interactive research problem. Uh, the study is commonly undertaken to know the answer of what contain, contains basic question. Okay. The study is done specifically to the proposed study area when there is less existence of prior research as well as existing study is not enough to answer the problem precisely. Then coming to the descriptive research design. Descriptive research studies are those studies which are concerned with describing the characteristic of a particular individual or a group. So the researcher must be able to clearly define what he wants to measure and must also find adequate methods for measuring it along with a clear cut definition of the population that he wants to study. Okay, so the aim here is to obtain a complete and accurate information. So the procedure must be used to carefully plan in this said study. The research design must make enough provisions for protection against any kind of bias and should also maximize reliability with due concern for economical completion of research study. Like for example, uh, descriptive research design could be like what is the effect or like how much the effect, uh, how much the lighting conditions or ambient music in a retail store would affect the buying decisions of customers. Okay. So that is an example of descriptive research design. Then the third type is the experimental research design. So experimental studies are those studies where the researcher will test the hypothesis of causal relationships between variables like the uh, relationship between the, in, uh, the fuel prices and the sale of refrigerators. So that is an experimental study. They are trying to find out the relationship between these two variables. Such studies require procedures which not only will reduce the bias and increase reliability but will also permit drawing inferences about this causality okay so here the researcher will try to determine if the manipulation of this part one variable like say uh, fuel prices which is called as the independent variable will affect the other variable so in this case sale of refrigerators which is called as the dependent variable experimental design is commonly conducted in two settings or contexts one is an artificial setting where the experiments will be conducted in a very tightly contrived environment called as lab experiments. You might have all learned, uh, saw, seen this. Uh, if you check the packaging of any kind of, let's say, detergents or Dettol and things like that, in lab experiment, they were able to kill 99.9% .9 germs. Like that they will say. Okay, that, that is like the fine print there. So that is one way of experimental research design. The other is in a natural se setting where experiments will be conducted, where activities actually occur on a regular basis. So that is called as a field experiment. So these are the two types of experiment, uh, what you can say, experiment designs. Um, then mainly there are two types of experimental designs as well. One is the quasi or true experimental design, wherein we use random assignment of participants. Okay. So a true experiment uses random assignment of participants, but quasi-experiment does not do that. It allows the use of, uh, what you can say, wide range of participants. So this is kind of like quasi-problems uh, are used. This kind of research experimental designs are mainly used in uh, ethical problems analysis and all. Quasi-experiments will allot the participants based on a study, unlike true experiments, where they have an equal chance of getting into any one of the groups. The second is the simulation. Simulation uses a model building technique to determine the effects of uh, various changes. And computer-based simulations will, are also becoming more and more popular in such business researches. Before using these experimental designs in research studies, we have to consider whether they are actually necessary at all. And if they are necessary, at what level of sophistication we need them. This is because experimental designs call for special efforts and varying de degrees of interference with the natural flow of activities. So experimental uh, research designs are generally not taken up as projects for uh, courses. Mostly we take up descriptive research questions. 
Exploratory research techniques, since the time required is too much, is not feasible for us. Experimental research designs are also time consuming and resource intensive, so therefore not taken. Usually you will find all the MBA projects across the globe are generally or at least not across the globe, across India, whichever you take. I haven't seen any IBM projects, but normal colleges you take, it is going to be descriptive only. It is going to be simple descriptive uh, projects. So that is the uh, trend so far. If you guys can break that trend, I would say phenomenal. But if not, also it is okay. Okay. So I hope you guys got a general idea of uh, what research design is and what research design your, uh, what you can say, projects would fall into and how you will have to approach the research design if you have not prepared the synopsis already. So thank you so much for being with me until the end of this video. I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.